Can I have a question for you as well? So, um, genes, right? do they remember what all you've been through? Yeah, or, uh, yeah. I mean, even even without taking into account your ancestors, right? Even what you've been doing from when you were born till now, do they actually remember everything that you've been up to? Or I wouldn't say everything, but there is a lot of things that you can find if you actually do an, an uh, understanding of your uh, genes. Not yeah. as so there are different parts of what you study in, in genetics, right? One yeah. is which you are studying where you are looking at genes that are inherited, what we call as a single nucleotide markers. Okay. Um, so it's SNPs it's called, single nucleotide polymorphisms. Right? Those are what you inherited, that doesn't change. Right. But there are, if you look at the, when you do a full genome analysis, you will find that there are certain marks, things like you know, methylation and other things that sort of are remembering a lot of um, whatever you have done to your body, right? I mean in terms okay. of your you know, what has happened in terms of the environment, uh, you know, your, it, whether it's cold or not cold, whether it, you've been smoking a lot, I think that can also be visible. So there are a lot of things that sort of help us understand whether certain uh, certain things have changed in terms of the other parts of the structure right. in the DNA. Right. Um, and I think that is what people don't realize that now we even have the ability to be able to even study those, you know, the methylation and other right. things which we call as the epigenetics that is over the you know, your baseline right. markers. Basically comes into your body through its fields. Correct. Okay. So that can be, earlier we thought that, you know, you couldn't study it, but right. now we have started to understand this whole science of epigenetics and it's actually measurable, there are ways to be able to do that. Okay. Uh, and, and I think, you know, very soon, once the cost comes down a little bit more, I think all of us will have access to that on a regular basis, right? Right. And do they keep changing as you grow? Yes, that will change. So the DNA, is not, the, the SNPs are not changing. Right? Okay. What you inherited, so even in the DNA, you have something that you inherited from your parents. Right. right. But if you see somebody, for instance, who has cancer in a particular cell, right? Right. Then there are some changes that have happened. Right. So those right. are what we call as a mutation, a somatic mutation, or the bodily mutations. Right. That right. will change. Right? right. And that's why when we when we look at a clinical sample for for uh, cancer type, you find it from that particular location, and you then study it to find if there has been a change because that change is what is propagate helping the cells propagate it right. and and become what it is. But what I'm talking about the methylation and others are right. where there are certain groups that get attached over there in terms of and it helps to express the genes better or not right so you might okay. see that some people will be doing exactly the same things right. they might even have the same genetic disease but you know based on what they've done in the past it's also like what they've nurtured really right sure. so now you can even study nurture what <laughs> what you've done so i think that's the fascinating part of it. it is right Okay, so now all these new attachments that we're getting, right, are they going to be passed on to? Yes, yeah, some of it system? is passed on, some of it is not, right? So okay. some things can be reset in yeah. one way and the others. That's why we say that when you are pregnant with a child, right. you know, you need to make sure you don't do X, Y, Z. Right? Right. Right. Uh, and I think part of it is what you are passing on to the children. Sure. Then sure. even if you look back in history, you will understand that they told us a lot of uh, stories about where when there was a famine, you know, what happened right. you know, right. in terms of, you know, people were still lean, but they, some right. of them, when they got access to too much food, right. you know, even though they were very lean, they were, you know, they, they, they did have diabetes and other things, right? So, right. I think it is, it is a fascinating thing and I keep telling people that genetics is not just biology, right? it is right. 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 a lot of history and geography and other things that that are also encoded in it.